No. Yeah, please start the session. Yeah, can we start? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Lena. Start. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yes, yes. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the secret of success. With this beautiful quote, I wish everyone a very good morning and a warm welcome. On behalf of KDSR Siddhartha College of Pharmaceutical Sciences, I, Dr. Chaitanya. See, see, internal uh, disturbance is coming. Take care. All of you keep mute. Yeah. On behalf, on behalf of KDSR Siddhartha College of Pharmaceutical Sciences, I'm Dr. Chinchi Lakshmi, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry. Thank you all for taking time to attend the webinar on line management and pain management. Welcome our principal ma'am, all the staff and students who are attending the webinar. And a warm welcome to Dr. Radha Devi Wadipani, ma'am, for accepting our invitation to deliver a talk on time management and pain management. Time management is a process of organizing and planning how to divide your time between different of organizing and planning how to divide your time between different activities. This leads to smarter work, but not harder. A person who manages his time well and coordinates with his team attains success in a shorter period of time. As everyone has know that, everyone says time is precious, time flies. To plan your time, but nobody says how to manage it. I hope that this webinar may enlighten us about the utilization of time and work in a team successfully. With these few words, with these few words. Before I welcome Principal Ma'am to give her a welcome note, we would present a glimpse of various activities done in our college in the last three months under the dynamic leadership of our Principal Ma'am, Dr. A. Sumita Ma'am. So I request Lakshmi Samrajan to please share her speech.
I paste it once. Yeah?
now i request our principal ma'am to please welcome her on this webinar thank you chetula shumi can you hear me yes ma'am distinguished speaker dr v radha devi garu associate professor english visakhapatnam dr lakapalli bulaiya college of engineering our beloved faculty members and my dear students of kvsr siddhartha college of pharmaceutical sciences very pleasant morning to one and all i accord a genial welcome to all for today's webinar on team management and time management i thank all the participants for showing up your interest towards inculcating life skills hvsr siddhartha college of pharmaceutical sciences was established in the year 1993 and is the first private pharmacy college in the state of andhra pradesh the college is sponsored by siddhartha academy of general and technical education visayawada which is a visionary society running several institutions it is affiliated to krishna university machlipatnam we create a safe social and physical environment that helps all our students to learn and succeed the students are taught in an excellent learning environment which transforms the students to a good citizen as well as a good pharmacist to serve the society we have made concentrated efforts to develop this college into an excellent center for advanced research in pharmaceutical sciences i extend warm greetings to our today's distinguished speaker dr v radha devi garu on behalf of our management and team of kvsr siddhartha college of pharmaceutical sciences for accepting our proposal to deliver a lecture on team management and time management to our students every day is a learning day life is a marathon that needs perseverance in the process of learning are two prominent fundamentals behind every success story is team management and time management both team and time management are very important to achieve life and career goals i take this opportunity to share best inspirational quote coming together is a beginning keeping together is progress and working together is success so team management is the ability of an individual or an organization to administer and coordinate a group of individuals to perform a task in the workplace teams can come in many shapes and sizes who all work together and depend on one another there are various methods and leadership styles a team manager can take to increase personal productivity and build an effective team coming to time management time is an irreplaceable asset it is more valuable than money especially in today's fast paced overly competitive business world 
you can get more money but you cannot get more time be sure that you spend your time where it matters most to you improving your time management either at studies or at workplace allows you to enhance your performance and achieve your desired goals with less effort and more effective strategies so this session will be helpful to all of you and i wish you all good luck thank you
I mean, is the video play? It's not playing slowly. Okay, friends, thank you so much for watching the video. So, have you ever wondered how is it that some people have time for everything, as you have seen in the video? Time for their work, for their family, for their friends, for their passion, for entertainment. Whereas others keep rushing from task to task, but they don't finish anything. Friends, do you think the first category of people have more time to do or less tasks to do? No. It is very clear that they are using their time effectively. They are displaying good time management skills. They know the difference between what is important, what is not, what is urgent, what is not. Let us discuss four examples to understand this concept better. For example, the first example, if you have your exams in the near future and you are seriously preparing for the exam and the telephone rings, do you think it's important and urgent to answer the telephone call? Yes. If it is from your principal, from your boss, from your class coordinator or from your placement officer or your class representative, it is of course important and urgent. But if it is just a casual call from your friend, from a call from an insurance agent or a customer care or a real estate agent, it is not at all important, not urgent. Moving on to the second example, paying a regular visit to the dentist. Of course, it is important but not dirt urgent. Because while you're preparing for your exams, first focus on your exams. You can always visit the dentist even after the exam. But don't delay the visit. If you delay the visit to the dentist, that may lead to dental complications. The third example, picking up your little sibling, little brother from school is both important and urgent. Because if you don't do that on time, 
your little brother will be left all alone, worrying about you, waiting for you either at the school gate or in the playground. So it's very important and urgent. And finally, watching funny emails, reading funny emails, you know, watching and quickly responding to all the Facebook notifications, WhatsApp messages, checking WhatsApp statuses of other people. It's neither important nor urgent. But friends, why is it the first thing we do every morning? So friends, as you can see the definition on the screen, time management is nothing but planning, prioritizing, and scheduling and execution of your daily responsibilities to a level of personal satisfaction. Avoiding procrastination. What is procrastination? Procrastination is nothing but the tendency of postponing. So avoiding procrastination, playing too much on the mobile, mindlessly surfing the net, and other distractions. If you are able to avoid these distractions, that means you are using your time effectively. And when people see you doing that, such things and managing your time effectively, they come forward willingly to work with you, to offer jobs to you, to offer promotions, and they also help you grow in your career. So friends, let us also see as uh, Sumita ma'am was mentioning that time management is one of the most important life skills. Yes, if you are able to manage your time effectively, you can achieve success both at your personal and professional level. So time management is equal to life management. It is what we do during the 86,400 seconds of each day that will ultimately determine how successful we are in our chosen career. Everybody under the sun has the same 24 hours a day, 168 hours a week, and 86,400 seconds each day. So the ball is in our court. How effectively we manage the time. You can you have just seen the video. You know, there was one girl who was highly disciplined, organized, and managing her time effectively whereas the other girl was just wasting her time. So if you want to be successful in your life, time management is one of the best strategies that can help you reach success and achieve progress in your life. So friends, before moving ahead, let's also see how time management is perceived across the globe. Because very soon, you might be going abroad for studies or abroad for jobs, or even in India, you might be working with foreign clients, foreign projects, or even if it is not say, the case. But now we are all not just local citizens, we are, all, we are not local citizens, we are global citizens. So we should understand how time is perceived in other countries. First, let us take the example of India. In most of the cases, if the meeting is at 5 a.m., 5 p.m., I'm sorry, 5 p.m., participants arrive by 5 10. And if the session or the class is scheduled at 9 o'clock for the students, students keep coming till 9.30. If the time on the marriage invitation card is 7 p.m., the guests arrive by 9 p.m. And if the arrival time of the train is 8 a.m., the train arrives by 9 a.m. So in most of the cases, we do not give much importance to time in India. But Japan is very famous for its promptness and punctuality. For them, time is an expensive commodity. Values such as success, progress, achievement, which are held I are based on their adherence to time management. You can see in the image on the screen, Japanese railway officials going to the passengers to apologize for the late running of the train shows the importance the Japanese place in time. Now, we take the examples of countries, punctuality conscious countries like America, Switzerland, Germany. For them, time is money. You know, they equate time to money because it's very clearly seen in the choice of words they do their 
they spend time, how they save time, and how they waste time. So, friends, across the country or across the globe, time is given at most importance and significance, and it is considered as the most valuable commodity or asset in our life. So, let us see what are the benefits of time management. So if we manage our time effectively, obviously increases productivity because we are more organized, we plan our activities, we schedule and execute our activities on time and it reduces stress, improves our self-esteem, helps achieve balance in life, both at personal and professional level, increases our self-confidence, keeps us motivated, helps avoid procrastination and helps us reach our goals. Friends, these are the benefits of time management. How can we achieve these benefits? We'll see in the upcoming slides. Friends, while managing our time effectively, we may come across certain obstacles. So what are these obstacles? First, let us see the obstacles and then we'll see how can we overcome these obstacles. Unclear objectives. If our objectives, goals, aims, or plans are not clear. It is an obstacle. If our workplace, we are disorganized, our workplace is disorganized, our room in the house is disorganized, our classroom is disorganized, our lab is disorganized, then it is very difficult. Inability is say no. Sometimes you have so much of work to do, you have so much of work pressure, and then somebody approaches you and assigns you a task or asks for a favor, sometimes we are in a position to cannot say no. Then interruptions, as I was mentioning in the beginning, you are seriously preparing for your exam and the telephone rings. What happens? It is an interruption. It will distract you. Sometimes more interruptions, like if there is a, you know, notification pops up from Facebook, Insta, Twitter, WhatsApp, you know, you become restless, especially students, you know, they become restless. They immediately want to see what is the message and they lose a way of focus. So while doing something serious, your project or preparing for the exam, just put off your data so that you can focus them. And coming to periods of inactivity. There are so many times of the day when we are doing nothing. According to the Roman philosopher Seneca, he says, you know, periods of inactivity into three categories. The first category, we are doing nothing. The second category, we are doing something irrelevant, something useless, something purposeless. And the third one, we are doing something bad. We are doing something ill. So let us convert these periods of inactivity into periods of activity. So periods of inactivity, I would just like to quote an example. Most of the students, most of the boys, I don't say everybody, but in my college, I have seen so many people, most of the boys, you know, the periods of inactivity, they spend in playing PUBG or free fire. You know, they are addicted to the game. And girls, watching Korean serials, BTS, these are all periods of inactivity. Friends, now you are studying your M farm or B farm or D farm. These four years or three years of your productive work will decide your next three decades or four decades of your career. Your four years of study here will decide your 40 years of your career. So how do we convert these periods of inactivity into periods of activity as we be discussing in the further slides? So other obstacles are too many things at once. If you have a lot of responsibilities for the day, a lot of tasks assigned to you, and then you do things in a hurry, buddy, the success of individual tasks will suffer. We have to focus on one task at a time. If you do too many things, too many cooks spoil the broth. So too many things at once will spoil the success of your task. Stress and fatigue. Because too many things will definitely cause stress. Stress to a certain level is good. But overstress 
is not good. It will impact your personal and mental health. Friends, all work and no play. As you all know the quotation or the proverb, all work and no play makes jacket dull boy. There are some people, maybe your teachers or students or so who are workaholic. All the time work, work, work. Even students, all the time books, study in the library. They don't spend time with the friends, no time for entertainment. We have such people in the department also. You know, all the time work. Friends, we should enjoy every flavor of life. You know, we should have a blend of work, entertainment, family, friends, hobbies. You know, I would just like to quote a Hindi proverb, a movie title here. Zindagi na milegi dobara. Kal ho na ho. So let us live life as if today is the last day of life. So we should definitely give priority to important tasks. But at the same time, spare little time for your family, for your friends, for your colleagues, for your children, for your passion, for your hobbies. So friends, so these are certain obstacles we come across while managing your time at the time. So what can we do? First, accept that obstacles do occur. So accept it because anything we try to do, any goal we set, there will be challenges on the way, obstacles on the way because life is not a bed of roses. So identify the obstacles, recognize, first accept them, recognize, identify what are the obstacles and employ the strategies to overcome. I'm going to discuss in the next slide, what are the strategies or techniques you can apply for effective time management. So as you can see, effective time management can be broken down into three steps, prioritization, scheduling, and execution. What is prioritization? Prioritization is nothing but ranking our daily responsibilities in the order of the importance. So we have so many responsibilities every day, both personal level, professional level. So first we need to rank them. And then we'll see what is scheduling and execution. First, let us discuss prioritization. So to rank your daily responsibilities, first you have to list them out. Without listing them out, how can you rank your daily responsibilities? They do this, you need to prepare a to-do list. If in the morning you're out of the bed, you can just take a notepad, a scrapbook, or even in your phone. Just write down all the responsibilities, all the tasks you have to accomplish for that particular day. So first jot it down. Friends, let me tell you, preparing a to-do list is a very effective time management skill. And if you start doing it, you will definitely see success. It will definitely help you achieve success in your life. So once you prepare your to-do list, then what? What next? As I mentioned in prioritization, once the list is ready, you have to prioritize or rank your daily responsibilities. How do you do that? Yes. First, once the list is ready, you can see the box the square on the screen. List out all the tasks that are very important and urgent and put them in this yellow box which have to be done immediately. Tasks that are important and urgent. And tasks that are important but not that urgent, you can delay it for a while. For example, visit to a dentist. Preparing for your exams and visit to a dentist. Your exam preparation is more important. Visit to a dentist can be delayed for a while. And tasks that are not important but urgent can be delegated. What is delegating? Delegating is nothing but sharing responsibilities. You can share certain responsibilities with your friends, with your near and dear, with your family members, your subordinates, your classmates, your colleagues. Politely, you can ask for a favor and ask them to do certain tasks for you. And don't delegate complicated tasks. Some tasks which are easy and which can be done by anybody, you can delegate such tasks. And 
please monitor and find out follow up whether the task has been achieved or not and finally we have the last is where tasks that are unnecessary useless purposeless non productive such tasks can be deleted from your to do list you know i was just giving you the examples of playing pubg or free fire or other video games please don't make them an addiction or an infection you can eliminate from them from your to do list maybe one or two hours during the weekend yes you can play games but not during the work days so friends to understand this concept better let me share my to do list for today so that you can understand this concept better so you can see my to do list for this week the 11th of june 2022 so i have almost 20 tasks to be accomplished for the day you know to pay my electricity bill service my car webinar what i'm doing today i have to take a lab session immediately after the webinar attend a department meeting i also have to attend the cii iden southern regional meet and though you can see so many other tasks for the day so how do i prioritize my daily responsibilities so as i was mentioning of delegating some of the tasks which are very easy and simple i can delegate it to my family or friends for example my son who usually works from home and he is at home today and saturday is an off for them i can always request him to recharge my mobile phone and pay the electricity bill order gas cylinder and book my flight tickets he can do it online that's very simple and easy it's a it's a matter of fingertip for him next you know my husband who is traveling to commuting to his office i can always request him to post the letter on the way and buy some vegetables so there are some tasks which i have delegated what about the other tasks see the webinar which is the priority taking my lab session preparing my laptop is of course very important otherwise how could i do my daily activities at college the cii ivan meet is equally important and attending a department meeting all these tasks are both important and urgent so they have to be given at most priority now getting my car service renewing my passport and going for a walk can be delayed it can be delayed if not today i can do tomorrow so i can see i already discussed recharging mobile phone internet bill all these can be delegated which i have already delegated and buying books watching movie on prime me video if not today you can do it tomorrow or on sunday it's not that urgent not that important so in today's to do list i can delete them or eliminate them maybe renewing my passport or car service in tomorrow it might be the first task for the day so this way you can prioritize your daily task by preparing a to do list friends as i mentioned everybody under the sun has the same 168 hours a week so urgent and important tasks do them immediately important but not urgent plan to do and not important and urgent as i was mentioning something the trivial request of others apparent emergencies interruption interruptions and distractions you can reject and the last where on the last box very important for students to follow tasks that are not important not urgent comfort activities computer games net surfing whatsapp chatting never ending whatsapp chatting gossip texting social communication daydreaming doodling you know the lecture is going on you keep scribbling something on the in the notebook over long breaks unnecessary adjusting equipment habitual comforters are not two tasks they are just addiction they are non productive demotivational maybe they may give you a lot of you know uh, relief or excitement but they are non productive they are not good for your career so minimize or cease them altogether plan to avoid such tasks from your to do list so now moving on to the second part or the second technique the first one was prioritization and the second and third is execution and scheduling 
both execution and scheduling go hand in hand. Assign a deadline for each task. So you have so many tasks. As students, you might be having assignments, your records, observation books, experiments to do, projects to do. As faculty, we need other than your class work, you need you need to do so much of additional work for NAC, NBA, IQAC. So assign a deadline for each task. Break projects down into smaller tasks and assign a deadline for each. So for this webinar, I said 9 to 10 30. Yeah. So that is the deadline for this task. And then immediately I have to log on for the CII Ivan meeting. So that is the next task. So assign deadline, assign time and target, and work on one section until it's completed. See, I cannot log in for both this webinar and the CII online meeting. No, it's not advisable. It is not productive. So one task at a time. And once you complete the task, take a small break, reward yourself, have a cup of coffee or an ice cream or a cup of tea, just a small relaxation and reward so that you will be rejuvenated for the next task. And let me share some of my personal strategies which will help you to manage your time effectively. Friends, learn when to say no. Because we can't do everything. Don't undertake things you can't complete just out of courtesy. Every request given by your teacher or your class representative or principal, just don't say, yes, ma'am, I'll do it for you and you will land up in trouble. Because you have to focus on the task you already have in hand. Right? That success of those tasks should not suffer. So you can clearly mention, ma'am, today I'm very busy. I have this, this, this in my to-do list. I'll definitely do it tomorrow. So please be very frank and honest. So remain consistent to your goals. Next important time management strategy is using your waiting time. Do you ever... Did you ever analyze that how much time we waste in our waiting period? For example, commuting in a train or in a bus or waiting for an appointment at a doctor's office. You know, such long time we have to wait for our chance to come. Waiting for your plane or for your luggage at the airport for your boarding time or when you're call is kept on hold, you have some waiting time. And when you're early to your college, what do you do? How do you spend this time? So this time can be considered as a gift of time or a waste of time. Friends, you can make the best use of the waiting time. You can check your inbox, the AP mails or WhatsApp messages, your class group messages, your assignments, app. You can answer your emails, you can answer your WhatsApp messages, calls, because as teachers or as students, you are into so many groups, so many college groups, so many friends groups, so many other groups. So this is the time you can check. But please don't waste this time in playing or video games or playing mobile games and books or online courses. You can download some important books on the phone and this is the time you can read those books. And do online courses. As you all know, soft skills or life skills are very important for any professional in any field, in any walk of life. Friends, you will not believe it. During the last two years of lockdown, I have done more than 300 online certification courses and all are free online certification courses. So there are so many organizations, so many foreign universities offering free online certification courses in soft skills, communication skills, life skills, even in your core area. So this is the time you can explore and enroll in such online courses because you need to update yourself. If you don't update yourself, you will remain outdated and nobody would like to be outdated. And as you all know, the pharma industry is expanding at a consistent rate across Andhra Pradesh, across India and across the globe. And there are ample job opportunities for students across the globe. So this is the time, the waiting time you can you don't just waste in chatting with your friends and not explore explore what are the job opportunities available for you 
what are the online courses available for you so that you can update the same in your job profile. Friends, concentrate on the task at hand. As I was mentioning, focus on your goal. Tune out all the interruption. See WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, Insta. Yes, you, you can do it. Just five or 10 minutes towards the end of the day, not during your work hours. And once you accomplish your task, celebrate your success. And as you recharge, don't forget to recharge your phone every day. Don't forget to recharge yourself. As I already mentioned, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So friends, work is no doubt important. But take little time from your life, for your hobbies, for your passion, for some entertainment, for friends and family. And don't overwork yourself. Find little time to relax. That doesn't mean over relax. Because rest at this age is considered as rust. Resting and relaxing after retirement. This time is not for resting and relaxing, but little breaks of relaxation is always necessary. And additional tips, limit cell phone and internet usage. Friends, we human beings have invented the cell phone. We are the masters of cell phone. Let us not become slaves to the cell phone. Limit TV time. You know, most of the ladies, girls I have seen watching serials non-stop. Ah, that is not at all considered productive. Okay, weekly ones, fine, but not every day. Is it really productive watching the never-ending serial? Then keep your surroundings clean and tidy. Keep your workstation clean, organized, your classroom clean, your room in the house clean, and get a good night of sleep. And while sleeping, don't keep your mobile on your bed. Keep it somewhere away. Keep it in the flight mode. And some students say, ma'am, we set alarm in the mobile phone. Please buy a small alarm piece and keep it, but not the mobile. Because a good night of sleep will give you a good day the very next morning. Don't let time slip away. Spend it on meaningful things. See, as I mentioned earlier, everybody has the same 168 hours a week. Even if we spend 56 hours sleeping, 35 hours eating, showering, driving, 40 hours on work, even then we have 37 hours of enough time to pursue our dream and passion. So how do you spend those 37 hours is in your hands. You can do what you want or you can just waste it away. We can live each hour with purpose or we can live each hour carelessly. So the ball is in your court. How you spend your time is will lead to your success. And so friends, value your time now because you never know what the quality of the time will be later. As ma'am was mentioning, Time is more valuable than money. You can always get more money, but you cannot get more time as mentioned by Jim Ron. So let's quickly review this topic and then we can go ahead with the next topic. So friends, know how to spend your time, set priorities, use a planning tool to prepare a to-do list, get organized, schedule your time appropriately, delegate, get help from others when you have lot of things in your to-do list. Stop procrastinating. You know, holidays, when a week of vacation is given and your teachers give you assignments, projects and all, what do you do? You think, oh, we'll finish in the last two days. But every day of your holiday, that keeps pricking your head. Oh, you have to finish your observation book. You have to finish your record. So what I suggest is, first one or two days, finish all your assignments, homework and projects, and enjoy the remaining part of your vacation. Manage external time wasters like your WhatsApp, Facebook, Insta. Avoid multitasking. Focus on one work at a time. And please remain healthy. So these are the tips for effective time management. So before we go ahead with the next 
topic. If you have any doubts, you may please unmute your audio and ask. And can they ask doubts? Hello? Hello? Hello. Any doubts? Okay, if you have no doubts, let's move on to the next topic. Let's watch a small video. The next topic is team management. Team management is also as important as time management because no man is an island. We all human beings are social animals. Right from the time we are out of the bed, we need to mingle with people, either at home, either at college, or at our workplace. So friends, working in teams is very important Working in teams productively and successfully is highly important because that will lead to our personal success, our organizational success, and our professional success. So in the next 20 minutes, I'm going to talk about how do we work in a team and how can you be a team. So do we work in teams? Yes, of course, we work in teams. Some people are not that comfortable working in teams. They think, oh, they can do things alone. But friends, not every task can be achieved alone. Can we write with a single finger? No. We need the coordination of all the fingers to write. Similarly, there are some tasks which cannot be achieved alone. We need a number of people, group of people, team of people. See, in the beginning, before the webinar began, or before my session began, I saw glimpses, rather galaxy of activities being done by your college. I was really impressed. So I could see the mega medical camp, faculty development program, awareness program. Do you think all these programs, or for instance, this very, very webinar, can you think it can be organized by one person? No. It can be or it has to be organized by a team of people for the success of the event. So friends, in college or at your workplace, we need to work in teams for personal, organizational and professional success. So first, let us see what is a team. A team is a small number of people with complementary skills who are committed to a common purpose, performance, goals, and approach for which they hold themselves mutually accountable. So let me explain this in detail. Let's take the example of a cricket team. Do you think in a cricket team, everybody is good at batting, bowling, wicket keeping, and fielding? No. There are certain people who are good at batting, good at other members, good at bowling. Some people are very good at fielding. One or two good at cricket fielding. So friends, so friends, not everybody is good at everything in that particular task. They complement each other. They complement each other for the success of the team goal or the team task. So the team acronym stands for together everyone achieves more so all of us when we work together productively we can achieve more it multiplies the success and divides the tasks so what is teamwork the ability to work together towards a common vision the ability to direct individual accomplishment towards organizational objectives always remember in a team people are not important the organizational objective or the task when your department or college is going for NAC or MBA 
so getting the nap or nba accreditation is more important not the individuals there so everybody working together to a common vision is what is teamwork and the concept of people working together as a team for a specific purpose for a single goal so why we need teamwork it provides great learning opportunities because as i was mentioning the example of a cricket team similarly in a class maybe some people are good at one subject some people are good at anchoring some people are good at other coding or other designing communication skills so you can learn from each other in fact what we do is we feel jealous oh he is doing that so well teacher will give him an appreciation or a pat on the back no instead of feeling jealous take them as a challenge take them as your role model and try to learn the skill from them teamwork promotes workplace synergy it provides improved efficiency and productivity and as i already mentioned it divides the task and doubles the success so when in a team you should be open for suggestions ideas you know in a team everybody is equal so you should be open for ideas suggestions feedback even criticism constructive criticism you have to trust every member in the team support each other and respect everybody's viewpoint and while managing the team you have to plan whom to give which responsibility and work with the team effectively and finally evaluate the success and analyze the success any drawbacks anything went wrong how can you revise your plan for the next task so friends for this you have to understand the stages in team building this is very important i as a teacher or as a student the first stage is forming the next is storming norming and performing in the first stage you can see all the arrows you know they are in criss cross not in a single direction so the first time when you meet a team members you don't know them you don't know who is good at what so there is lot of confusion and chaos the second stage storming let me explain this in the next term slide like, see the first stage forming team members meet each other for the first time for example if we are organizing a cultural fest or a technical fest in the college or a mega medical camp there are committees established so for the first time when the committees meet teachers or student committee members they don't know each other so well so first thing the leader or the committee head assigns the task so this is the role and responsibility of your task at that time the team members get to know what their roles are in the second stage storming they learn how to work together they start discussing arguing that this time you know there may be chances for anger frustration disagreement dissatisfaction so here the team leader's role is very important he should come into action pacify the atmosphere there and the team members learn about each other's abilities and potential and in the third stage norming now that they know each other very well they know what are their roles and responsibility they start to work and act together and goals evolve into helping the team succeed they start supporting each other and they are more likely to express the team finally the performing stage the team members they all come together the single arrow you can see in the previous slide see here the performing stage everybody comes together as one and they they act as one single entity towards the goal the members work hard towards the goal members are flexible they help each other do or die they should achieve the task people are not important here the task is important you know sometimes you are in a committee and you don't like the committee head the committee in charge or the committee coordinator you are in a department you don't like the hod there it's fine we are all human beings you may not like everybody under the sun but here the person is not important the 
purpose is important the goal is important so that's how we work together and leader's role is learned here because everybody becomes a leader in the last stage and i hope everybody would like to elevate from a team member to a team leader so as a team leader you have to manage the task manage the team members and manage the team as a whole see in the first video i have seen i have shown you you have seen how the team leader goes first and helps others to reach the goal so that won't be possible with a single individual everybody come together plan properly only then they can reach the heights of their goal so as a team leader first you need to set the goals and then make sure all the team members go from goals to results communicate the task so each one explain each team leader make sure everybody in the team contributes there will be some escapees some spoil sports in every team make such monitors the monitors so there will be such people in every team who wants to escape they don't want to do anything and they will be spoiling the atmosphere here and you know they will be instigating others give them higher responsibilities and complicated responsibility so that their energies the negative energies get channeled so please communicate the tasks to the team clearly completely and remind members of upcoming deadlines because when you give a task set a deadline set a target you know time management just so i was mentioning and if there are some issues in between issues between the team members or issues with the task or anything you have to revise your plan improve the speed so once the team picked up the pace you can increase the speed with problems are solved and confront the team when the plan is not followed if they're not doing according to the plan confront them ask them what is the problem so this is a multiple role to be played by a team leader and you are a team leader don't try to become a boss boss always says i but the leader says we so let us be team leaders but not show our bosses and if we do work in such a phase you can achieve quick solutions it improves the productivity both at the personal and the professional level distribution of workload becomes easy who is good at what you identify and assign that task to that person and once the task is accomplished please give them a pat on the back diversity diversity of ideas because different people in the group come with different ideas respect their ideas value their ideas and that will lead to better decisions and that keeps the team motivated and it offers a great learning platform friends towards the end as madam has already quoted this so when we work in teams it will lead to personal success professional success and organizational success so coming together is just a beginning keeping together is progress see forming storming norming i said so coming together is the forming stage keeping together is progress the storming and the norming stage and working together is the performing stage working together is success so let's all work in teams and do away with all the problems we have so that's all from my side sunita ma'am can we take any questions from the participants friends if you have any questions you can either unmute your audio or post your questions in the chat box any questions for me hello hello yes ma'am yes sir if you have any questions 
I request the participants to either post the questions in the chat box or unmute your audio and ask questions. Students, do you have any questions? You are very free to ask the madam. I think uh, no questions from the participants, madam. Okay. At least, did you understand the concepts of time management and team management? At least that you can answer in the chat box. Yes, no. Was the session useful? Yes, I got was. Yes, a warm good morning to one and all. Myself, Dr. G. B. J. Kumar, coordinator of IPAC and HOD of Pharmacy Practice. Uh, Madam, this is a great opportunity with immense pleasure to deliver a, uh, to propose a, a concluding remarks about this webinar on time management and team management. It takes me the, with the excitement when I am listening to you, our uh, lecture, Madam. On behalf of KVSR Scops, I thank you, Madam, for your breathtaking and energizing talk, Madam. Every one of us learned the strategies for managing the obstacles for smooth sailing in life. And you have explained very well about the time management, team management. You have learned different strategies and priorities in day-to-day -day life, Madam. Thank you, Madam, for your valuable webinar. After listening to this webinar, we wanted to express many things, but we do not have words to explain, such as your webinar, which is very much energizing, Madam. Thank you. Thank you, Ramadevi, Madam, for your delivering this excellent talk. I thank our principal for organizing this webinar. I thank all the faculty members supporting this smooth running of this webinar. And also I thank my students for their active participation, active participation in this webinar. I, at, the, at the end, I thank management, uh, Siddhartha Academy of General and Technical Education for their support organizing this webinar. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to see you in many uh, such webinars in future for the benefit of our students and the faculty members. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I thank all the organizers, principal, Dr. Sunita, and the team, all the students for attending this webinar. Thank you so much for giving this opportunity. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam. Looking forward to see you again. Thank you. Sir.